Retro. Wait, Retro just donated. What's going on, Retro? He says, yo, Etika, my nigga. You know what to do. Wait, what do I know? Wait, I don't know what to do. Wait, what do I do here? Retro, what's the deal? Is that somebody who needs to be taken care of? What did he say? Damn, there's a lot of donations, man. Y'all niggas are going crazy. He says, Etika, you know what to do. Eviscerate this man. All right, so who is it? Retro? You know, I said I wasn't going to try to, I wasn't doing reactions or anything like that yet. But you know what, Retro? It's it's you. I'm going to have to check it out. He sent me a link to a YouTube channel that needs to be eviscerated. Who is, who, who, who are these niggas? I'm going to have to take a look at this, man. Are they really worth it? Being the one person that I trust more than anybody on this website, Retro, I hope you understand the kind of circumstances that will happen. If you, oh, yeah, this wasn't the nigga's retro's link. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Hold on. This is something that came in more recent. So that one will pop up later on. But I got to find, okay, here we go. I found his donation. What's this, Retro? Who is this? Behind the, who is this? Okay, let's see. He's saying to eviscerate this person. I don't know this person. Evisceration is serious. You know, the only people that I've exist eviscerated have been people who committed some serious crimes against the Joy-Con boys, against humanity itself. <laughs> so, I don't know. But who are these guys? Behind the meme. Let me get my headphones on. All right? You know what, Retro? For you, I'm going to check this out and see. Because taking action against a random person like that isn't my style. What did they do? What did these niggas do, Retro? Like, you, you got to explain it to me. Good. He says he committed crimes against memes. That's a fucking major offense right there. Parker Anderson, what's the answer? What's going on, my boy? Yo, Parker, we're chilling right now, man. We're just having fun in the stream. We're wilding out. We're doing whatever. I'm going to be here for a little while. So, stay here. We're not doing anything in particular. We're just, we're just having fun. What is this? The images of this video have nothing to do with the subject matter. What the fuck are you... Huh? Wait a minute. Wait, oh, the video title. Look at the title. I got doxxed and my response to the hate and the future of this channel. That nigga has 11,000 dislikes. What the fuck did he do? Retro. Who is this guy? Niggas hate him. I don't know who this is, bro, but he's getting his asshole open. This nigga's getting his fucking cavity stretched, bro. Damn. Okay. Wait a minute, can y'all explain in the chat? What did this nigga do? Who? Is he one of those guys that like touch some motherfucking kids, some pedo type shit? I hope not. He better not be one of those, bro. I'm not one of those. I'm, I'm gonna read your explanations in a second. I just gotta, I gotta open up my damn um, stream thing. I gotta open my stream thing just to see. Cause this is some, this is some wild shit. How does a person get that many goddamn dislikes? I have a lot of motherfucking tabs open. Okay, hold on. I'm going to close this one. There we go. We got we to gotta make this a little bit more manageable. My shit is looking fucking messy right now. Okay. So what's the deal here with this guy? Apparently, apparently he killed memes. So th is this something like the know your meme kind of guys? Some people are posting tomatoes. <laughs> now niggas want to make tomato sauce right now? <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Imagine if we turn that into one of our own jokes, our own inside jokes. Niggas, this is tomatoes when a nigga needs to die. Good. We did we make some pasta sauce out of that nigga. Yo, got a green HX. Yo, what is going on? Nice to see you back in the motherfucking building saying I love weekday streams. Uh, that's what that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do one today. I was actually trying to do one on Sunday, but I was a little caught up. However, you know, on a Tuesday, why not? On a Tuesday, baby, let's go. Hold on. Thank you so much, though, God of Green HX. Always nice to see you in here. I still don't know how to pronounce your name, and I never will. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay, so he kills memes. All right. Let's see what he has to say for himself. We have to give him a moment to testify. The hate against his channel. Just listen with an open mind. He sounds like he's guilty already, to be honest with you. Hello, Internet lovers and haters. Wow. Talk about crazy. Where to start, where to start. Okay, everybody may have noticed that I have become somewhat of a compelling and often reviled figure on YouTube and the world of memes in particular. You either love me or you hate me. No, no, Delta Shizunawa, he has to testify. This is a civil place. We can't just put somebody up on the goddamn chopping block without hearing their side of the story. I want to know, what did he do? 
like me. Which is kind of the norm for the internet now. He got docs Let's though. just say that people tend to act a certain way while behind yeah. keyboards. I'm nothing special, but damn, my haters are really giving me too much attention. Guys, come on. I make videos about memes. Memes. I'm just yeah. a guy with a small wiener and a computer. Some people okay. also seem to think that I don't take criticism very well. I'll admit that was true early on in my channel's life. Some of you may remember when Anthony Fatano made a video on me. That particular situation oh. just bummed me out because Anthony This shit is getting fucking dull, nigga. I don't know this nigga. He didn't do anything fucking serious. Y'all let me get to see like he killed somebody. I don't give a damn if he committed a crime against a meme. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> I mean, well, 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 okay. I need to know certain offense. He ain't gonna tell me. The people who are who are accused of the crimes i mean how many times is this dude gonna like he's just saying oh dude there's some haters out there i don't know gamey six um gamey 64 jamie 64 gamey 64 i'm gonna call you gamey he says yo you're gonna finish jojo nigga that anime deserves it and you do too i have no fucking idea uh i can say i'm going to try my best to finish mania but i can't guarantee it jojo that's even less of a guarantee who the fuck knows definitely not me but if the situation ever comes up when we watch it again I'm sure many of you will be looking forward to that. I'm sorry. It's not even... <laughs> I love this donation alert. This donation alert is so funny. The voice clip is taken from Pokemon where um, there was like some semi-romantic scene with Ash and Misty. And he was like, do you think people change when they get kissed? And Misty was like, I guess we got to see for ourselves. And Ash was like, uh... Like he, it literally was just like a good 10 seconds of him just saying, uh... Dumb nigga! Stupid nigga. By the way, they bring a Misty back in the new Pokemon series. I, I like that. Very clean. That was the original Poker Girl. I remember seeing Misty back when I was eight years old and being like, yes, I'm in love, nigga. <laughs> That'll never change, nigga. Yo, Sims Vincent, coming through with a fucking first time donation with $40, man, saying, I wish I could give you more if you had to Portland, Oregon. I better hear about it. Thanks a bunch for everything that you do. Joy-Con boys, well, welcome to the donation box, man. Um, glad to see that we have new blood constantly pouring in this bitch. You know, I'm drinking that shit. I'm on my vampire shit right now. Give me all the new blood, nigga. I'll take it. But thank you so much for hitting me up with that. It's donation love, man. It goes a long way. Fuck filling my pockets. It goes to make sure that the motherfucking channel stays up on its own, you know? So, thank you. Because, you know, YouTube ad revenue ain't doing it. <laughs> Nigga, I'm, I'm playing. My ad revenue hasn't been hit too much because I'm managed. But if I didn't have managed, whoo! Money gone. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody, by the way. Let's get see if this nigga's gonna get killed or not. I don't think I'm gonna kill him. And it was super weird and surreal to hear one of the people you watched months earlier making a pretty hilarious parody of your videos. At the time, I really didn't know how to handle that situation, but shit, since then, I could care less. Or is it I couldn't care less? Sam, That's thank you. Confusing. Either way, what I'm trying to say is anybody who makes a hate video on me, more power to them. I actually kind of like it if I'm being honest. In a weird way, it kind of validates me. It makes me what feel did like you I'm do? important, which okay, I'm Okay, fast not. forward. But the biggest reason why people hate me is because- Whoa, we found it. We found the okay. Here we go, boys. Let me make sure I adjust my camera angle a little bit. Okay, so it's a good thing we fast forwarded. We're getting to the prime reason why niggas hate him, Georgie. If this isn't a good reason, Retro, come on, man. Georgie, thank you. He says I've been watching your videos for a long ass time since your Attack on Titan days. We're talking 2014, then. Um, I never really had the chance to donate to you, but I wanted to come in, drop some, and say what up, Georgie. Listen, my nigga, you've been here for a long time, bro. Then you shouldn't be surprised by my response. I'm glad to have new people in here. I just told this nigga before you. It's all good, baby. Thank you so much for gracing me with that presence. Gracing me with them dollars. I don't want to have to grace this nigga with an evisceration, though. His crimes aren't that serious. I mean, can you really compare this guy against um, the others that have had their bodies completely disintegrated and removed from existence entirely? I don't think so. You guys, I don't know how to say this. Huh? I am a normie. I kill memes. I know you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to Normies Anonymous meetings every Wednesday and I'm beginning to come to terms with the fact that I single-handedly kill memes. They don't get overexposed naturally within a couple of weeks. No, it's all me. I was being sarcastic, by the way. People think that because I make YouTube videos that my audience is any different than the audience of other places where memes can be shared. Forget the small fact that Reddit is as mainstream as websites get. Forget that more than half- Yeah, that's the thing. Niggas are saying that- <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. These niggas are saying that this guy 
makes memes mainstream and therefore is killing them? Is that the argument here? Am I understanding things correctly? JT man, 620. Arigato, bro. He says, I've been a fan of yours for a while, since the Smash 4 leaks of summer 2014, to be exact. Oh, wait a minute. Attack on Titan was 2013. See, I don't even know my own shit. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. He says, could you take a look at this parody trailer that I made of you? We've had a couple of those pop in from before. To be honest with you, man, I'm not even bullshitting. The list of donations is so goddamn long now that I don't even know what position yours popped in at. And... It's going to take me like a good 10 minutes to scroll through to try to find where the hell that link is. I am very fucking... <coughs> I, it'll be very difficult, man. I'll... <sighs> no, no, no. This nigga just donated. JT, man. Give me a second. bro. Okay, I found you, actually. Oh, here we go. Oh, got you right here. I'm going to be watching your trailer after this, man. But hold on. So the reason why... No, no, no. No, no, no. We can't... We, he, no, we can't kill him off of the fact that he makes things mainstream, man. Because memes haven't been mainstream since like 2010. It was over the moment that Rick Rolling got on the news, nigga. Like, come on. There's no sanctity. There's no sanctuary to memes anymore. It's no longer an inside joke that users of the internet have between themselves. Trust me when I'm saying this. I've been there, man. I'm 27 right now. I was 17 in 2007. And I saw the evolution change, man. Ever since ads got onto the internet and ads hit up YouTube, it's just no longer... Does it feel like a tight-knit community now? Memes can be made by anyone. I think the definition of a meme is taken completely out of out of context now. Like, a meme didn't used to just be somebody made a picture. Oh, I made a meme. Fuck that, nigga. A meme was like a dedicated... It was like a dedicated thing all on its own. You couldn't make a meme, per se. A meme makes itself off of the stuff that other people have done, you know? It could be something that was made years ago, and it gets bought back as a meme... And it, it does, it, it's not, you can't, you don't make a meme just because you add an image caption to the motherfucking, pic, uh, you add words to a picture and all that, you know? I don't know. It got, it got so mainstream. You know how in the very beginning, hey, hold on, another donation came through from um, Seller Kresnik. Uh, I like their last name. It sounds kind of familiar to me, to be honest with you. The seller came through saying, wait, we had another donation coming through from Griffin Drummond who came in before that. I didn't even see that one. Well, my man's coming through with the Red Robin donation. I'm wearing the Red Robin shirt. You know what the deal is, bro. Um, hey, Etika, first time too. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Also, can you give a shout out to my nigga, Wynn Silverman, who is a great fan of you? Please hold up. Yo, Wynn Silverman, thank you so much. Your boy here wants me to give you a shout out. How can I not oblige? And also it hold up too. Don't you worry. I got you, bro. Holla, 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 holla. Holla, we the boys. Holla, we the boys. Holla, holla, holla. We make yeah, we're making noise. All right, yo, thanks a lot, man. Um, seller, I'm sorry. I'm not able to give you that much attention right now because I still want to talk about this shit. I mean, but okay, maybe I'm talking out of my ass. What is the real? Okay, what are people saying? Bro, people in my life are meme idiots, and it's like, God. Yeah, maybe someone else would kill him, but me? Memes are already dead. Every single goddamn reference to a meme, in my opinion, is absolutely wrong, and it'll never be the way that it was back in 2009. So, it's done. We're not gonna kill this guy. I'm not gonna kill this guy. He doesn't deserve it, man. If anything, I, I'll just leave a dislike. I'll shit on his head, and I'll keep it moving. <laughs> I'll keep it moving.